Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petit. Welcome back to my channel. In a previous video I showed you how to draft a pattern for a custom size flower pot cover just like this one. And in this tutorial I will show you how to sew it. So if this is something you would like to learn then keep on watching. To make your flower pot cover you will have to cut two external pieces for the front and back and two lining pieces and also cut one base from external fabric and one from your lining fabric. For my cover I'm using this beautiful cotton canvas today which I interfaced with woven interfacing to add a little bit more structure to my fabric. Uh, because you need to make sure that when you um, make your cover, the fabric stands on itself. Um, so if you are using more lightweight fabric, such as quilting cotton, uh, I would highly recommend using some sort of interfacing or stabilizer to ensure your fabric is more sturdy. So if, for example, I would take my lightweight waterproof canvas, this fabric doesn't really stand on its own as well as this one. So keep that in mind when you are making your own cover. And for the lining, I chose this waterproof uh, fabric to ensure that I can easily clean inside of the cover in case if there is any uh, leak or maybe it gets dirty. So uh, this is something to keep in mind, especially um, if you are not using a tray um, with your uh, flower pot. So to start, we are going to take the external front and back panels place them right sides together, line them up and clip along the side edges. Just like that. Then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew both seams using one centimeter seam allowance. Alright, just like that, then you're going to open your seam allowance and press the seam flat. So you're going to open the seam just like this and press it with an iron. And do that on both seams. If you haven't done so already, make sure you mark the midpoints along the bottom edge of your front and back piece. So to do that, you can simply fold the fabric, line up the side seams and then mark your midpoints. Then you're going to take your external base panel and again, make sure you have midpoints marked on each quarter of your circle. Then you're going to take that base and with right sides together, we're going to line it up along the bottom edge of our front and back piece. So what I like to do is to first match the four notches with my midpoints and my side seams, and then I can easily align the edge. Then you're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam using one centimeter seam allowance. So this is how it should look like once it's stitched. Then if you have a uh, pinking shears, you're going to take your pinking shears and trim the seam allowance by half. If you don't have pinking shears, you can cut a little V shapes with your regular scissors. This way, when we turn our cover right side out, the seam will lay nice and flat. We have finished sewing the external pieces. Now you can take your lining pieces and repeat the steps. So again, we're going to line up our front back with right sides together, clip them in place, 
when you are ready you're going to sew both seams however this time we need to leave an opening along one of those side seams so later we can turn our cover right side out here we go so i have left the opening here then again you will need to open the seam and press them flat However, because I'm using waterproof canvas, I'm going to just finger press my seam so I don't burn my fabric. You need to do that on both sides, just like that. Then again, make sure you have the midpoints on the front and back and take your lining base panel with your four notches. And again, we're going to line up those pieces right sides together and clip them in place. Here we go, just like that. Then again, you're going to take this to the machine and sew the seam using one centimeter seam allowance. Okay, I have my base stitched and I already trimmed the seam allowance by half. Then you're going to turn the lining right side out. Just like that. Take your external fabric and place the lining inside line up your side seams and line up and clip the top row edge then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew the seam all around using one centimeter seam allowance Then pull the lining outside and we're going to turn the cover right side out. Next you're going to align the top edge so it is nice and neat and you can press it with an iron. So I like to use my tailor's ham. Line up the edge and just press it. So it is nice and flat. And you do that all around the seam. If you want, you can use some clips to hold that seam in place. And then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch along that finished seam. The last step is to close the opening in the lining. So you need to pull the lining outside, line up your seam. You can clip it in place. Here we go. Then you can either take this to the machine and sew along the opening, or if you prefer more of a neat finish, you can close the opening by hand using a ladder stitch. Here we go, just like that. Then you're going to insert the lining into your cover. Give your cover a final press if you have to. And just like that, you have created your own custom size flower pot cover. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.